Okay, so we've got some way of starting with districting plans, and then here's the protocol. Just start modifying them at random. You apply some kind of proposal that tells you how to transform one plan to a different plan, and what you're effectively doing is walking around the space of possibilities. Okay, so that's what you see happening in this picture. Um, it's computationally very light. This is a capture of an in-browser demo. Your computer can do this randomly. Um, it's, it's extremely light computing. Uh, but it turns out that one of the research innovations that has come out of our group in, in, uh, in the last few weeks has been a much more efficient way to do it than this. So here again, I'm gonna use this term spanning tree, and let me show you the picture of how to do it. At the side, you see the process. On top, I start with two districts, the orange and teal. And then I'm gonna do a move I call recombination, and that's by analogy with biology, right? Where you're taking some things and glomming them together and splitting them back up. That's what we're gonna do here. So we start with these two districts, we merge them. We draw this random spanning tree, so that's a network with no cycles that visits every node. And then I look one by one at the edges of that and I ask, if I cut this edge, would I get pieces of equal size? There's no way to do that, I pick a new tree and proceed. So all of this can be done efficiently, quickly at random. And then I cut at a balanced place and I get a new pair of districts. Is that making sense? Good, so let's see how they work. I'm gonna illustrate this. Here's, of course, Pennsylvania. Um, and here are two grids where I just wanna show you the dynamical system of these random walks and what it looks like. So I've started the process on top, and in both of them, I began with an initial splitting into these column districts. Everybody with me? And then we're mutating the districts flip by flip. And what I want you to think about here is blind exploration of an unseen space. You dropped down and you started making moves at random without knowing much about the landscape, right? Okay, as I talk, I'm letting this run, and you see it really is changing, but it hasn't forgotten that it used to be columns. Do you see that? It's got the memory of its initial seed. Um, I was giving it a big head start so that I could try to impress you with the efficacy of this walk. So this is this new recombination move. It, it locomotes much more efficiently around the space of possibilities. And we have really good evidence that after just a short amount of time, it can sample representatively from this unthinkably big space. That's, that's big progress, and I'm scientifically very excited about it. And here it is on Pennsylvania. <laughs> so this is a recombination random walk of, of Pennsylvania. Okay, and that's a little bit of the mathematics that goes into this. I'll say there are some, you know, in another piece of beautiful, magical synergy, um, it's not only that the kind of math that I know and love has something to say about this problem, but the problem gives back by raising spectacularly interesting new math questions. 